but there's a lot of preparation to do before you get started. Now every table is going to have six of these flasks and every student is going to get one flask. Now the color coding is important. The color of tape on top, this is the color for your table. So every table has a, a different color. The table, color of tape underneath tells you which sugar you're going to add. You're either going to add lactose, and this is color coded also, or a mixture of lactose and glucose. Now, I'm just going to put the rest of these away and just keep number three out here because this is the one that I'm going to do. But remember, every student is going to have one flask that they're responsible for. Well, I can see that I need to add lactose to my flask, so I'm going to get one of these uh, color-coded tubes and I'm going to measure out three mils of lactose there. And then I'm going to wait on that because everybody has to be ready to go before you add the sugars. Now over at the side of the lab are the different strains of bacteria. There's wild type, mutant X, and mutant Y. Now the mutants, they have some uh, change at the DNA level that affects the expression of the beta-galactosidase gene. Now I have sample number three for my table and that means that I'm going to need mutant X and so I'm going to measure out 27 milliliters of mutant X and then take this back to my table.